All right, so the first thing, ladies and gentlemen, that I want you guys to remember on, again, when you're solving trigonometric equations, first of all, don't be confused with the trig. Just think of solving the equation just with like x's. Okay, so if we we're going to solve in this case, guys, you know, we'd undo addition first. We would undo division next. And then we'd undo squaring, right, by introducing the square root. And remember, when we introduce the square root, we would include plus or minus. And then I could simplify that to the square root of 3. I'm sorry, that's 4, right? 4 over the square root of 4, which is 2. Or do I agree with me on that? So in the same thing, guys, that's all I'm doing here. I mean, I'm, sol I'm doing the same process. Just make sure you simplify the square root, though, because if, if you guys look at this, that's not really going to help us out anywhere. So when you introduce, introduce, cosine um, of theta equals the square root of 3 over 2. Because again, what we're doing is we're looking for the angles where the cosine is equal to the square root of 3 over 2. Well, if we're looking on the angles, like based on the unit circle, this, we recognize this. We probably wouldn't recognize square root of 3 over 4, though, right? I mean, it's there. It's still the same thing. It's just not simplified. So now what we're doing is we're looking for all the angles. When I take the cosine of that angle, I get square root of 3 over, I'm sorry, plus or minus, right? <laughs> plus or minus square root of 3 over 2. And then I have my constraint 0 to 2 pi. So we're not using inverse function, where we're just finding that one angle that fits within the domain. We're finding all of the solutions. So we go to our unit circle. I'm sorry, all the solutions between 0 and 2 pi, which is basically one revolution of the unit circle, right? Here's 0 to pi, here's 0 to 2 pi. So it's basically finding all the values when cosines equal the square root of 3, 3 pi over 2. Now, the way that I like to do this, or at least the way that I understand the unit circle, is I know this coordinate point gives me that solution that I'm looking for. That answer is pi over 6. Correct? And then if I want to find where are all the other angles where cosine is either equal to a positive square root of 3 over 2 or negative square root of 3 over 2, well, they're all, all these angles are going to all have the same reference angle. They all have a reference angle of pi over 6. Yes, because basically what these angles are is just a reflecting over here, reflecting down, and reflecting down. So I'm not going to draw in all of these points, but you guys could say theta equals we know pi over 6. Does anybody know what this angle is? 5 pi over 6, right? Because halfway around the circle is pi or 6 pi over 6. Subtract pi over 6, you're at 5 pi over 6. This next angle is pi, uh, is pi over 6 plus pi, which would be 7 pi over 6. And then this angle is pi over 6 short of 2 pi, which would be 11 pi over 6. So you can see your answer written like this. You can also write your answer in uh, set notation but just by using a set, and that's fine as well. You'll see that often um, on your quiz, like something like represented like that as well. Does that kind of make sense? Anybody have questions on how far the other ones? Yes? Um, negative five over six, nope, because those do not fall within the restriction. So you have to stay, so 0 to 2 pi means all the angles have to be positive, right? And that's kind of like the difference 